Hey, I'm Jason with American Angling, and I want to introduce you to my friend Dwayne. He has got one lure that is all you'll ever need to catch white fish up in Canada and in uh, the northern states of the U.S. Anyways, it's the only lure you'll ever need, so pay attention, and uh, here he is. All right, lures. One of the fish that I've learned to love to catch and especially when we lived for five years in Alberta up in Canada was the lake whitefish. Now, I, I was always trying to catch northerns and I noticed tons of, of whitefish and, and I got to, to thinking there's got to be a way to catch them, but their mouths are really little and I didn't know how you could catch them, so I got to researching it and I found out that you can make a lure that just works absolutely fantastic. Now what you need to do is, and what I've done is I've found a, an old cord, an old electric cord, and I've stripped it down and I've gotten some copper wire, thin copper wire out of that cord, and then also a strand here of, of orange cord. Uh, Probably the inside of it is copper wire, but I've I've left the color on that one. Now, what these whitefish like the most is is a, a copper color, and I will I will try today to show you how to make one of these lures. Just take a normal small hook. You can use this size or even smaller. And, and you start it down by the base of the hook and you just start by wrapping this around and continue to wrap it around and every so often you can kind of squeeze it together but it, if you just keep wrapping that and I have just a little bit of trouble here with shaky hands but just keep going till you're about to the top of of the of the hook about to there and and then you can clip this off and you'll have a hook that's just covered. Now I've made a, a couple of mistakes here. Uh, if, if my hands weren't shaky in my younger days, I could wrap that and, and have it really smooth. Now what you do is you just sn clip it off right here. Uh, and what you might do is, is put a little bit of wire down and wrap it a couple more times going back down uh, so that the wire doesn't come loose. Uh, what, what's interesting is you just use a bobber like this, tie it so it's about two, two and a half feet from this lure you don't need to put any bait on it. Uh, just use monofilament line and throw that out and you don't even have to throw it a long ways from the shore. We used to fish at a lake called McGregor Lake uh, in southern Alberta and, and we'd throw that out about 10 to 15 feet from the bank and then you just float this float it along and all of a sudden the whitefish will grab it and and pull the bobber down and you'll have a great fight. Now one advantage to whitefish is they're really good eating fish. Uh, in fact you, you notice that uh, you can buy them in the grocery stores. Uh, they're, they've been harvested uh, commercially quite a bit up in Canada and they're just a lot of fun to catch. Now another thing, these are easy to make. Uh, probably two of the colors that I used the most were the copper 
uh, and a green color. Uh, and, and like I've done here, you can make it just a little bit thicker by going back down. Uh, and we, we, I have never figured out what this resembles, but they'll bite on this bear hook and they'll bite that uh, very viciously, uh, aggressively. You'll have no trouble catching 10 or 15 of them if there's white fish in the lake. You can also use this orange color, uh, but I would say that probably copper and green were probably uh, the two best colors. Red was also a good color. And we used this not only in open water, but we used it ice fishing. You put it down like the same way, about two and a half feet, and just jig it a little bit, and they would, they would take it under the ice, and you can actually catch them quite easily this way. We figured this imitates some kind of a little worm that they eat. I'm not sure about that. I, I am only sure that it works and has put many, many fish uh, in my skillet, uh, which thankfully they're great to eat.